Hey everyone, DuckNuck84 here, bringing you yeah. some more adventures right. of Casper the Chanter in wait, wait. Pillars of Eternity. And in huh? the last video, we started exploring the woods down south of our keep, and actually had to defend our keep hmm. from a small skeletal invasion, which was not that bad, but also picked up a new companion here, Sagini. And her white wolf companion. Ready, watcher. But let's continue okay. exploring the last little bit of the woods and then move on to the next place. And let's see, what do I want you to do? Let's have you do regular attack. Hmm. Regular attack and shoot them in the head. So like haven't really looked at you up close. So you're basically like dryads, I guess, or the female form of the forest lurkers. Yeah, you're almost dead. And we could thank my cat for tripping her and uh at her here for pushing her over. Don't worry, we'll uh we'll get Yep, so she is morning wood as well. We'll get mm -hmm. to a camp soon enough. But not before we finish looking around. Yeah, and that's just going to be... That's just back up there. I'm going to guess we're going to find... Well, I was going to say more monsters, but I wasn't expecting to find a broken down shack. Anything of interest? Sparrow's nest is tucked between two angled slates. Good to know! Because now my day is complete, I know that there's sparrows in this world, and I'm going to go pick these flowers. And two gravestones, so I guess they died here. And someone was digging them up, it looks like. Is that everything here? Oh, I just got the little bit right here, which is... It's probably going to be a little open field. So what have we learned today? We've learned that it is not smart to have a farm located next to talking and sentient trees. Because then you're probably going to get killed. Yeah, so we've got wooden planes. And should we go? We can go... I guess we can't go there now. So we'll go to the... Searing Falls, I guess, or that leads down. Actually, let's just, before we go, let's open up the other places. Because I don't think we have anything on the Stronghold. Oh, that was the other thing. We built a couple more things on the Stronghold. Which I think, was that, uh... Yeah, I think that we did that last episode. Yeah, because we completed the Bailey, I think we started the tower. So, two days left on the tower, so don't need to go back there unless we get attacked again. Yeah, so there's the bridge. And now let's just go over here just to open that, too. And so that takes us to Stormwall Gorge. So, let's see, what should we go? Quest-wise, we need to go there... But do I want to go to the town first? Or explore more? Well, actually, yeah, let's go to Defiance Bay because I'm guessing we'll probably find additional quests over here. Although I wonder if the Storm uh, Wall Gorge is where that guy we're looking for is for uh, our new party member. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start heading to Defiance Bay because that looks like it's going to be the next quest hub. Oh, and, uh... Turnster's got a level I forgot about. We get some new spells. No new talents. So what, you have level 3 hmm? now? Where are they? It's pendant blows. I doubts. Okay. Dire blessings. Resolve. 
Increases hit crit chance, knocks down enemies in the area of effect. Does it damage them? Hello, good sir. Prayer against restraint, freeze allies. That that's could be useful because I've got killed a couple of times because of restraints. New heal, warding seal. Versus electrical shock when the enemy comes into contact with inflict shocks damage and watchful presence. Plus ally with the aid of the sympathetic soul releases a healing effect when their endurance is low. Okay, so more yeah. spells to fool around with. What? I haven't really fooled around with many of his spells. I've just been doing the damage and healing spells mostly, mm. but there's always time to do sure. more of that. And hopefully we can get across this bridge and it won't break. And you guys are... Okay, more... More Kickstarter backers. I'm not really going to read those. I mean, again, because they're long and... I don't know if you could say they really have anything to do with the actual lore of the game, but if you need any, so the Golden Fox, do you have anything, or are you just a... Oops, let's take off fast mode. Hey, have you been to the exploration halls? Yep, nope, haven't been there. Haven't even been to this city at all. Okay, and you're probably all going to be starting saying the same thing. What about you? No, it's a okay. Well, that's just sound reasoning, because there's zombies all about this place. Well, not here, but this world, so... Yeah, I can see why they don't want you to go down there. Welcome to Defiance Bay. That was easy. So is this literally all there is? Yeah. So I guess if the other bridge wasn't broken, it would have been like this? But... Well, let's go to Copper Lane in our first... Area of the big city. It's going to take us 15 hours to get there, it said. That's a long walk. Defiance Bay. The city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry, displaced by Whitewind's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to animancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Feels like I've been tossed around in a snowstorm. <sighs> okay, don't worry, we'll get you we'll get to an inn. And I was going to say, it looks like now we are finally in Act 2. Well, I shouldn't say finally, because I wasn't, you know, trying to rush through it. But Act 2, here we come. And uh, let's see, what are our main things we have to do? Never far from the Queen, that's our main quest. The old Watcher. Okay, and these are the Master Blow. Spend time traveling with Durance. Yeah, so we need to get the records. Okay. So we have some stuff we can do here. This guy's just going to sit here fixing boxes, apparently. The City of Defiance. Crown Jewel of the Deerwood, if you ask the locals, anyway. Yeah, I'll uh, take that with a grain of salt until I see it for myself. What do we got here? Protesters? What are you protesting? And who are you, Rowan? Okay, you're all protesting animancy. And don't mind me, I'm just going to take your chew. And the guards don't even care because they're too busy looking at the protesters. Spread the word together, we will drive the blight of animants from the city. Talk to you, maybe. 
seizes you up new in town. Hey, well, you picked an interesting day to visit the Fines Bay. All these refugees fleeing the frontier and finding the legacies no better here. It's the Adamancers. Magrins scorch them, and their nest is in this sea like rats. You mark my word, though, as us dozens are gonna put a stop to it. Or the... So he's called the dozen, or dozens. Dozens. I can't read today. Uh, so what are you doing here? Not that I particularly care at the moment, because animancy is probably the only thing that's going to help me get over whatever this Watcher thing is, or at least figure it out more. I'm trying to get the folks to see reason. We're in the midst of a crisis, and instead of purging the nefarious forces from our city, the Duke grants Animancers dangerous liberties. So what do you know of Animancy? It's a study and manipulation of essence, which any sane person will tell you is a purview of the gods. Don't know about that. Uh, Adrian's at least had the sense to outlaw it, which is only good thing you can say about them. It's not like magic, chanting, or the soul readings those ciphers do. It's been around since ancient Igwethian times, which is why you'll see Animancers tinkering with old Igwethian ruins, or artifacts even. Yeah, so you kind of have a double, double standard. Powerful, you know, manipulation of energy that causes magic bolts and flames to leap out of nowhere. Good. Dealing with understanding the soul. Bad. I knew I didn't like you guys. Half-truths. Oh, but he's an enthusiastic performer. I'll give him that. Trouble is, the Animancers got no idea what half those artifacts actually do. Not that they'll admit it. Our emphatic friend is correct about one thing, at least. Well, let's just find out who you are. We're an organization of interested citizens who want to free Defiance Bay from the dangerous influence of Animancers and the tyranny of the aristocrats who support them. And that's the heart of the matter, isn't it? The Animancers are the scapegoats. It's really the aristocrats you guys are after. We also consider ourselves a militia of sort. Protesters and militant acts always do. Seems as the uh, Crucible Knights are a little more than a flock of preening nobles in training these days. Just like a militia, the dozens, except for the training, and the discipline, and the code of honor. And we're always looking to expand. The more people see these things our way, the better for the state of the country. And, again, zealots always believe that. The more they see it our way, the more it's better for the country. No room for compromise. If you have any interest in hearing more, stop by Admiths Den sometime, Expedition Hall. A lot of free thinkers in there, and can set straight all those nonsense the nobles and the animancers want you to believe. Or cloud my head even more. We shall see. Might even be some paid work there for motivated types. Well, I said I might keep that in mind, but you're going to have to do a lot to win me over. And what do you know about Defiance Bay? This is the capital of the Free Palatine of Dyerwood. I still want to say it's Dryerwood instead of Dyerwood. Or however they say it. I'm sticking with Dyerwood. Sounds better. We started out as a capital of the Adrian Colony, but we booed the Flaccid Scepter from these lands once 150 years ago. 150 years ago, not one in 100. 150 years ago. These days we're a major port, receiving trade and visitors from all over the world. But we, some of us anyway, strive to hold on to the preening spirit, or the pioneering spirit that earned us the freedom a century and a half ago. Seas divide into five districts, Copper Lane, First Fires, Andra's Gift, Brackenbury, and the Heritage Hill. 
Well... Why not? We'll, we'll just learn all we can from you and then go from there. This here is a Copper Lane. It's primary market district, but, uh... We've also got the Expedition Hall directly north of here. Where you uh, can join treks into the wild, and that's also where my fellow dozens, uh, martyrs, and I tend to meetings up with other concerned met citizens. And that's the Hill of... What's that? Revelade Mysteries? Eerie place, you ask me, but there's got a biggest library there in the entire area. Eerie indeed. I might be less so if more kith stepped inside. Perhaps we ought to visit Caspa and uh, see just what mysteries are revealed. Well, tell me about Brackenberry. Nobility. That didn't sail back to Adria, stayed there. Most of the families there triced their lineage back to the old imperial times. Other than a lot of has-been nobility, you got Hadriot House, where Lady Webb and her spies operate, and Brackenberry Sanitarium, the main cesspit of animancy in the city. Well, what about First Fires? That's where the revolution started, hence the name. These days it's overrun with politicians and panderers, but we'll get it back someday. That's where you'll find the Ducal Palace and the Valian Embassy and Crucible Keep. The Crucible Knights were the original freedom fighters of Defiance Bay, but now they're just strutting peacocks with their eyes and fancy titles and their heads up their asses. There's the old Temple of Wodica there, too. We keep it real nice for her. Wink, wink. So I'm guessing it's not really a temple anymore, but it might be used for something else. And Andra's Gift? Got the name because it was a wetland that was drained back in the Imperial days. Now it's a seedy district populated by sailors, common folks, and more than a few thugs. But it's a fun place too if you know where to look. You mean like the whorehouses? Look for a place called Salted Mast when you're there. Other than that, it's mostly warehouses and abandoned homes. And finally, tell us about Heritage Hill. <sighs> it used to be one of the more prestigious districts in the city. Heroes of the Revolution claims plots up there next to the ancient Igwithian Tower and the city cemetery. Had the best view of Defiance Bay. Tracks rich types these days. A lot of animancy patrons. You wouldn't have heard, but sometime, something happened over there a couple of months ago. The authorities sealed it off and they're keeping their mouth shut. But mark my word, Animancy's to blame. Well, I think we've exhausted your knowledge. I will thank you for that and go about my daily business. I don't think yet. Nothing over here, but hey, we got, let's see, the Goose and Fox, Marketplace, there's the Hall, Prince's House, well, that's the Dormitory, all of the Revealed Mysteries, first to first fire to the Catacombs that we can't go into, into Brackenberry. Well, let's, let's just go in order, start off by the Goose and Fox. Let's talk to you. Lively place here, isn't it? And find all sorts. Everyone's a philosopher here. Yep, I met one on the street. Claims he knows everything there is about animancy. Greetings. How are you, Bishop Barkeep? Man, mind the bar is nearly the size of an amua. Handled protrusion from his back, and his face is set in a stoic frown. Gives you a small nod. Here for a drink? Let's see what your rates are. 
Your rates are slightly more than the last inn I was at. But, that's a higher there, so we can get to level four now. Let's see, do we got anything to get rid of? And let's see what, I can buy a dog. Small yellow dog seems singularly happy to accompany you, panting merrily as it lops sides or as it lops behind you. So I can have a dog to go with my necrotic cat and space pig. We're gonna buy all your fish, all your cheese, and all your beer. Because I can make some of this stuff. And did anyone themselves have some stuff I don't need? Nope, I think we're all good. Although I can get rid of that. Yep, we're good there. And how's my camping supplies? Can't tell from here. Doesn't show, but I can check that later. Okay, party management, don't need you. Thank you very much, Bishop. And actually, before, let's stash all this stuff. Okay, now that we got some stuff, what can we... We can still make nothing. We need to get... We need to find some rice. Rice and some meat. That looks like the main things we need. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone else of interest in here other than Kickstarters. Hello, how are you? Woman sits by herself, spinning something on the table in front of her and watching it with furious intent. It's about the size of a coin, and it wobbles over a creek in the wood with a metallic rattle. This is not a good time. Uh, it looks like you could use another drink. Uh, what are you doing here? Just trying to calm down and trying to talk myself out of something foolish. Something foolish, you say? Uh, there's something I need to give to my fiancé, Prunitsk. Only he doesn't seem to go anywhere without his new friends, and they're not exactly pleasant company. Ah, I didn't... I overlooked that. Eh, uh, yeah. Not good. She has a purple bruise on her cheekbones. So someone hit her, which is a no in my book. What happened? I know how this looks, but you don't understand. It's not like Prudence. It's these news friend of his. They brought the worst in him. Uh, no, that, that's already there. You're... Unfortunately, it sounds like the friends are the excuse. So tell me about these friends. They come into our house with their dead eyes and their black teeth. I'm not a fool. I know what that... What it means. Pernick makes me leave when they show up, but it's obvious what they came to do. Last time they came, I told them to get out. Let them have their fun somewhere else in the gift, but not under my roof. Smith charges you, I guess. This Prunsik I knew wouldn't have squashed a spider. I never thought he'd... Ah, uh, so they, they're... They're shooting up on the drugs! That stuff made people lay around, not... Well, I don't know what scoof is other than it's a drug, but... I'm going to use my lore because apparently it's supposed to make you more 
mellow, not violent. Don't really know. Seems better than believing he's always been that way. Well, unfortunately, I think he's always been that way. Well, maybe I could talk to him. There's nothing more to say to him. We're finished. I just want to give this back to him and have a clean break. And she's holding a ring. That's what she was flipping around on the table. It was his grandmother's. Even after this, I don't have the heart to sell it off, but if I go back there myself, I know what'll happen. I lost my temper, and I'll probably wind up with another one of these. Well, I can take the ring back to him and give it back to him if you want. House is just up north of here. Just please don't hurt him. As fierce as I am, I don't want that on my conscience. I will try my best, but if he attacks me, I am not promising anything. So, another town, another domestic dispute to settle. Where are you? This Stelger's pelt is thick with dust and moths. The plaque reads, the beast reads, er, below the beast reads, Maidens Fall 2682. And I don't think there's going to be anything, but just to be thorough. There we are. Treadshot Dean. So you guys might have something hurdy. Ilfa and Key and Two Tone Wessex. Who are you guys? Okay, fine. Don't don't want to talk to me. Well, you did talk to me, but. Anyone see me here? I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which, Which is isn't very calm. Very quiet. Stealing your fruit! And why would you steal why would you keep your fruit in Sure. a box? That's not the way you keep fruit. You're supposed to put it on the table. Hmm. Unless it's special fruit. Right. Maybe it's like super extra. Expensive fruit. You guys are probably going to care if I try to loot your closet. Yep, you're going to care. You guys, don't pay attention to me. I'll go next door and rob them instead. What do we got? Something so tiny I can't read it. The most unfortunate tale of Favia the Bur and Burnett, the village... Of the Valen Tragedy. Wow, that is, again, very long. So, if you guys want to read this, go ahead and pause it. Spoilers, Leia dies. I swear, those, these books seem to be getting longer and longer. And while I usually like to read those for myself, just because they can be kind of interesting, we would get nothing done if I spent all my time reading the lore books. Okay. Nope. 
Slow mode off. I meant to go out of stealth. There's nothing over here, was there? Uh, other than, let's just look at this bookshelf. Scattered among such tiles as flora of the living lands, unity in dissension, the history of Deadfire, Archipelago, and treatises on the Kulkin people are half a dozen travel journals rolled together with twine. So you can go to other places and not even leave your home. Well, let's go deliver that ring.